in this video we will learn how to make a flask application to classify multi classification images so here is uh, the project how it's going to work when i open this one and run localhost so you can see here when i run this one so it will uh, the project will be uh, called so you can see the interface of that project so i'm just going to I take uh, one image here let's suppose i'm going to take this one image and upload it so you can see this predict the image and says that its image belong to uh, frog and 95 percent of probabilities belong to frog and secondly that it says that that should be uh, but but the probability is three uh, percent and the third one it's belong to uh, aeroplanes so the probability is 0 0.18 percent so the maximum it's belong the first class it says that 95 percent is frog so go to the home page again i'm going to upload another image here so you can see here i have another image let me find that one i also took from yeah you can see here is the image when i go to when i upload this image so you can see it's predict that a 96 percent belong to dog so this is the project so i'm going to t uh, tell you how this project is actually working so first of all i'm going to uh, exit i'm going to close this one and i will teach you so here you can see my window i have open already first of all uh, you have just need to upload uh, you just need to make a uh, notebook file and import these kind of libraries so i will upload this on my uh, blog you can get that from where you can see here from so i'm going to upload this one these uh, on my let me correct it i'm going to upload on uh, here so you can see here in this blog you can access this code from this blog so uh, after importing i'm just using a cipher 10 images so here i'm, I'm going to upload and uh, split uh, training and test images that are already splitted so here you can see we have 5000 uh, number of images in x and uh, total number of images are 5000 uh, 50000 and x and y they, these are the uh, images and these are the label of that images 10 classes so here is just a simple random uh, prediction of the image um, just print so here we are uh, doing some normalization and converted the images in from uh, that particular uh, scale uh, to uh, the range of 0 and 1 so after that we are uh, i'm doing some data augmentation you can see for data augmentation so increase the data set we do some data augmentation if you know that what is uh, mean by data augmentation so here you can see after that we are going to split that images for training and test split and for test speed i'm taking a 50 percent of test test split after that we are we are doing normalization uh, we are calling this function you can see here we are doing some normalization for images and here we are converting to categorical class anatropy uh, you can see for training and test both images uh, for test uh, you can see uh, we have a uh, test split you can see we have a validation split so you can see here uh, we have uh, converted that images here so uh, for the sake of uh, i'm going to tell you i'm you i'm i'm, I'm taking tests uh, not the training you these are uh, you can see here so these are basically training and test images and after that we are just making the model so here is the basic model so uh, no uh, this is this is sorry sorry this is basically for uh, output predictions of that image if you want to plot that images this is the function so here you can see this is the function basically for making a cnn model so this is a way by using a class uh, i'm just making a model a convolution uh, 32 and uh, we have 32 uh, filter in this convolution layer and 3 by 3 kernel and activation function in this and the sec next one is we have same uh, 32 and i'm using a dropout for uh, randomly drop some um, uh, neurons and here are 60 uh, 64 and then 64 so one uh, one to eight channel and after that the last one we are just uh, using our uh, dense is equal to uh, 20 and activation function is soft max so tens mean we have 10 number of classes so this is the basically cnn model after that we call this one this model uh, so it will automatically call this one and train uh, start training the, this model after training the model you can see the output the graphs which we have mentioned here basically we are calling if you can see here 
uh, we are calling the result so basically we are calling this one so passing the model here so it will call model dot fit it, it will basically call this function and after running this the process you can see i'm just running the model up to you can see here i, I have defined i'm just running the model up to 100 epochs and after that epoch and after that you can see uh, uh, we got a good accuracy so after getting that accuracy you can save the model using a uh, model dot save model dot hdf5 so you can see i'm just saving and after saving that model you can just simply deploy that model in your uh, local machine where if you are going to run that code if you're going to run this code on google collab you just after running this code i'm not i'm just saving the time you can see i, I run that code i'm just saving the time so after running this code uh, it will generate this kind of uh, folder so you can deploy uh, take download this file and uh, run it on your local machine so here here would the training process end so after that we have made a flask app so it contains some static file a uh, static file and a css file you can see and images uh, when i upload any images it will be saved in this directory so here uh, the main file app dot man and here temporary file uh, for making uh, html interface web based interface i'm making two html files index.html and success.html so this is the basically the uh, code when i will run this one so let's dive into this file so here is uh, basically the flask app uh, code you can see here we just import some necessary libraries and after that we just call uh, the flask app and i'm just calling the model from local directory where we have some model dot f this this one file so after calling this one you can see i'm just uh, uh, giving some uh, extension uh, we can give some permission set the user can upload these kind of files jpg png gfif and jpg so here uh, we have uh, defined the classes if you have your own data set you can define these classes whatever you have so i'm just defining uh, the uh, uh, cipher uh, 10 classes you can see aeroplane automobile birds cat deer dog frog and we have horse and uh, further we have uh, ship and truck so here is the prediction function you can see it will take a uh, file name and the model uh, the model is you can see this is the model you can see we uh, a trend model we trained previously after taking uh, the image and the model it will convert the image into uh, three uh, 32 by 32 reshape it into a one dimension uh, reshape uh, that images and after that it will uh, after reshaping you you know that uh, the model uh, while predicting it's it's need a 1d vector so uh, reshaping that image into the into 1d 1d vector and passing to this one image will be passed into this one and it will uh, predict the result so the result will be in uh, three uh, give us the three result probability you can see here when we go down we uh, define that result into three different probabilities so here the results and class uh, results and class value so it will send uh, you can see i have defined the results and class for three so for class dot result it will pick some random value from this class and uh, basically it will pick uh, values and uh, you can see we have defined two list here class result and probability result so uh, we got three different values for class and probability results so you can see class we have defined here and probability it will uh, get that probability using the model and show three kind of probabilities so here basically the main file when we run this code it will automatically call this index.html file so after calling this one so this function will be work when we uh, upload any images and call the next button so it will automatically load our image into a static file and call uh, get that if we are pressing the button it will will get uh, we will get some uh, post and get if you know that what is a post and get we will get some post function we will call and uh, it will check if we are passing a link if you can see the uh, interface i'm going to run this one if you can see we have two options passing uh, url images it will check if we have a url images so it will take the url and do some prediction if we have directly the images else if as we use an if else statement so you can see we have a different probabilities and predictions and classes so it will show that classes 
and if it's if the code is not work and it will else it will show some error and this is the basically the code so i'm going to run this one code let me refresh this one if you can see the output how this code is going to work when i run this code you can see it will take some time and after that uh, so we can use uh, url 127 when i hit run so you can see let's suppose i'm going to run an image here i'm taking uh, image uh, i have this kind of image so let's take this image so you can see the output so it predict that this is uh, the cat and says that it is cat 86 percent and it belong to it it give me three classes and three probabilities on that one so let's suppose we are taking i'm taking another image so i'm i have downloaded from uh, somewhere else so let me find where is that image i yeah this one let's at this time i'm taking this image upload you can see here so it will show the probability of that image particular you can also pass the url so it will uh, show you the output using that url so you can see the model was trained on cipher 10 the data set you can use your own word so these are the classes on cipher data set so this is the whole code you can see we have a uh, app.py file this one and this one uh, file which is using to train the model so i will upload that code and you can access it that code from this one uh, my this one blog so this is the hope uh, this is the whole tutorial about uh, multi-classification uh, using uh, how to do multi-classification using a flask app so thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe this channel